Hello again. This is the second video on the introduction to surveying. I made a mistake in the last video. I said surveyors measure horizontal distances, but in fact, surveyors measure slope distances. These slope distances are converted to horizontal distances via the total station. The total station, well, it's not via the total station. It's the total station converts it for you. It's through it's via trigonometry. So the total station is an instrument that surveyors use to measure slope distances, vertical angles, which are also called zenith angles, and horizontal angles. These slope distances are measured using electromagnetic uh, distance measurements, uh, an EDM. It's called you know term the acronym is EDM uh, and that's kind of a laser that has a sinusoidal pattern and it measures uh, the time it takes for the laser to go to an object and then come back and then it divides that by two. Uh, I'll go into more of that in a later video. Okay and then a vertical angle is the same as the zenith angle which is measured from straight up it's a direction of straight up and straight up is you know I mean kind of a hard thing to visualize but if you have a level in that in your where you're where you are that level surface perpendicular to that surface would be straight up that would be what you want to measure your vertical angle off of um, and that's why it's called the zenith you know zenith is straight up um, and then horizontal angles. If the if the instrument is not horizontal, they're not going to be horizontal angles. So it's it's really it's very important, very important to have your total station level when making measurements because vertical won't be vertical and horizontal won't be horizontal. So very important to have your instrument level. Now I get that out of the way, I want to start talking about um, what surveyors use to convert these measurements in the field to to coordinates, so you can do coordinate computations. So to understand this, we need to learn about azimuths and bearings. So, an azimuth. An azimuth is a direction with respect to north. And right now, we're saying our north is assumed. We're going to pick a north. We're going to say north is straight up along this page. So, if this is north, that line, oh, that's not almost straight up, but it's close to it. This, we're saying, is north. So, if I have a line that I made in the field, We'll call it line one to two. So we're going this way. I'm going to say, and this angle is say that's 45 degrees. This would be an azimuth from one to two is equal to 45 degrees. Azimuths are usually measured off north. It can also be measured off south, but a lot of people measure it off north. So to get an azimuth from 2 to 1, well, what do we do? It's going to be 180 degrees added on to this angle to get, you know, because if this line was went straight out, it would be you'd add this to it. You know, this angle is 180 degrees to start going the other way. So add 180 to this 
So that's zero. Oh, this is oh, this is this that's wrong. This is five. I kind of twist move this over. This should be over a little bit. Um, so this that's five, and this is a two, and this is a one. One plus one is two. So 225 degrees. So the azimuth from from two to one is equal to 225 degrees. So that's the same as doing this. Have a go north. Same as doing this. This would be, if this is north, this right here would be 225 degrees. So what I just did is, this is still 1, this is still 2. I just moved my north, my north line, and I put it, you know, instead of this was where my north line was before, I just moved it over here. And then I measured the angle from 1 to 2, I mean from 2 to 1, right? So it's 180 degrees different, I mean added 180 degrees to get to that, so it's basically 180 degrees different from my azimuth from 1 to 2. Alright, so that is an azimuth, an angle uh, direction with respect to the north axis. Okay, a bearing now we'll talk about bearings. A bearing is a ninety is up to ninety degrees. So I'll just say um, a bearing for now is a direction with respect to north or south, north or south, south and north. So if I draw my Cartesian coordinate system again, there's another thing different about um, Cartesian coordinate systems. Another thing. In high school geometry class, we learned that the quadrants of this coordinate system are 1, 2, 3, and 4. Well, they're different. Now it's Right. So it goes one, two, three, and four. So look, right, that's right handed, right? Going to the right. Instead of high school geometry class, it's going what? It's going to the left, it's going around this way. So, I'm going to leave it as that right now, and I'll go more with this in the, in the, next, in the next video. I just want to say, bearing is direction with respect to north to south, and it's up to 90 degrees. Up to 90 degrees. And I'll leave you with that for now. See you soon.